All right, hello and welcome. Uh, this is the uh, first little video I'm going to do on uh, uh, problem solving. And I've got a problem here with a, a bell tent that I've, I've created. Uh, this is because I've got a bell tent. And I've got the question here. It says, uh, I have a bell tent. This can be considered as a, a cone on top of a cylinder. The vertical height of the tent is three meters. The diameter of the base is five meters. The height of the sidewall is 50 centimeters. And I need to know the amount of fabric so I can buy some waterproofing because waterproofing is sold or to be used per square meter. So I need to calculate the surface area of the tent. I don't need to include the base. The base is made of a different material and that's not going to be involved. So I'm going to give you a minute. If you want to pause the video, you could have a go at the question. Uh, if you want to wait a few seconds, I'll uh, I'll put up the formula you might need to know. So and then uh, see how much you how far you can get with it. So that's the formula. I've got the uh, curved surface area of a cone, which is pi r l, the volume of a cone, which is one third pi r squared h, the curved surface area of a cylinder, which is pi d h and the volume of a cylinder which is pi r squared h now we don't need all of those but uh, all right let's have a go and see if we can do this so the first thing with any sort of problem solving question if you can draw a diagram i would always recommend drawing a diagram so in this one it's a nice simple diagram because really all we've got is A cone on top of a cylinder, so in two dimensions, it's basically a uh, triangle on top of a, a rectangle. Now, the height of the whole tent is three meters. The height of the sidewall. Is 0.5 meters, which means the height of the cone is going to be 2.5 meters. And those are there, and it also says the diameter of the tent that's all the way across is 5 meters. Now, so there's the diagram, that's all the things I want. So the uh, there is one more measurement I'm going to need, um, and that is this bit here because the volume, uh, sorry, the surface area of the cone, so the surface area of cone equals pi. R L and we need to find L. To find L, I'm just going to draw another little triangle. I'm going to destroy it here because it's quite easy. That's L, and we know that the height of the cone is 2.5 meters. And the dia uh, the base here. Well, the diameter of the whole thing is 5 meters, so the base of this is going to be 2.5 meters. So L, we can use from Pythagoras, so L squared equals 2.5 squared plus 2.5 squared. So that will equal, we do that in the calculator, uh, 2.5 squared equals uh, 6.25. So times them by two, I've got two of them. So L squared is 12. Point five. So L is going to equal the square root 
12.5. And that's the thing a lot of people forget on the on the Pythagoras. They think, oh, Brent, I've got 12.5, and they're just going to assume that and leave it. It's got to be equal to 12 square root of 12.5. So L is going to equal. Three point five four. And that makes sense. If we, if we put that on the diagram, if I put equals three point five four there, you can think that makes sense. It's the length is the slope length is going to be a little bit longer than the, the vertical height. And 3.54 makes sense there. So the surface area of the cone is going to be pi r l. Well, that equals pi times 2.5 times 3.54. So the surface area of the cone, or just in my calculator, times pi times 2.5. And then equals 27.8. We go to one decimal place or three significant figures. So 27.8 square meters. Oh, that's a lot of fabric. We then got to look at the uh, the cylinder at the bottom. It's like a cylinder all the way around. It's only a, a, sort of a short cylinder. It's only 0.5 meters high. So we we'll look at the surface area of the cylinder. Equal uh, well, the surface area of the cylinder, it was uh, pi dh. So we've got pi dh. So that will equal pi times diameter of the whole cylinder, which is 5 times the height of the uh, cylinder. Which is not five. So what does that equal? Times five times point five equals seven point eight five. square meters. So total area, total surface area equals 27.8 plus the 7.85 equals 35 0.7 square meters and that's the total fabric and that's uh, so I'd need to buy enough waterproofing to be able to cover uh, 35.7 square meters um, now that's the first part of the question. I've, um, what I'm going to do in the, I'll finish this video here at that point, and I'll make a next one where we'll do a supplementary question to it.